Hey guys. Hey guys. Um, I'm uh, at a very beautiful place here uh, in New Zealand. I want to make a, a short video about uh, relationships. I have very, very little tolerance for uh, people that put me down. And so, especially in a, a love relationship, um, I'm shocked when I see uh, people uh, having a love relationship where um, where they are treated poorly and really not valued or respected um, clearly. Huh? Um, but I do think that um, uh, the first step in um, improving your health and your your relationships in is to treat yourself better because the way we treat ourselves uh, is uh, very important uh, we will treat others the way we treat ourselves or the way we treat others we also treat ourselves so if you meet bitches or assholes well you can be sure that they also treat themselves poorly um, that they also insult themselves when they talk to themselves because we always to talk to we, to ourselves constantly eh? um, and so I would call myself uh, a loser or a fuck up or um, um, uh, I would laugh with myself often eh? Of how stupid I am eh? and um, this is really not uh, and of course then um, you will also accept others that do that with you and actually you will look for such people uh, you will surround yourself with people that treat you uh, also like that and that's friends and lovers and um, but it's very oh, it's really annoying eh? how come I suddenly have Flies here, fucking, and a lot of them. Eh? Um. So, uh, yeah, the first step is to, to, for example, the way you talk to yourself. I, 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 I correct myself uh, at the time. Now I don't do that anymore. But I still do other things. But when I talk to myself and I'm, I'm saying such things to myself now. Now I will, I will just say no. That's not true. Um, I am not um, a loser, and everybody can make mistakes, and um, and it's just important to try to learn from them. And uh, please don't call me that way. I also have done IFS therapy which is internal family systems uh, therapy and um, the the philosophy of the therapy is that you have different internal voices um, that your personality exists of different personalities eh? and um, and um, um, in order to you yeah, often have um, voices that are uh, hurt or are um, um, uh, or, um, abusive or uh, uh, very afraid eh? um, and these um, and, 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 and often the way personality work is that one uh, voice will take over and then another voice will take over and so that's how you get a personality that can lash out strongly become very angry and then the next uh, hour he's very sweet eh? it's because uh, it's it's actually being led by different uh, voices uh, um, and um, the person is not really in control of those voices they just take over and so I learned in, in, in therapy to, um, to, 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 to negotiate with these voices not to let them take over but to negotiate with them and this has helped me a lot during investing also um, to um, when I become afraid and I want to sell, then I negotiate with this voice, eh? and um, 
and so that way I make better decisions where all my parts are in agreement yeah that's what the name is called parts that your personality exists of parts um, so yeah uh, and um, so I don't I try to treat myself better but I also expect others to treat me better than I was than you uh, than I was used to at the time and don't and so I really do uh, believe that you get what you um, that you can uh, it's in within your own power to improve your relationships and to improve your uh, health and it is really important to do so uh, if you want to uh, grow uh, because what we can achieve uh, depends a lot on our self-esteem and our self-esteem depends a lot on how we treat ourselves uh, whether we have a, a high esteem of ourselves or a low esteem of ourselves starts with ourselves but of course I mean it also depends a lot on how you have been treated since you were born. If you have parents or family uh, or siblings that have treated you very poorly or bullied you or, or, or talked down on you, this will impact your self-esteem. This will leave big wounds, uh, mental wounds, and uh, will uh, often uh, lead you to do the same with other people or lead you to into drug addictions or... Um, um, or, or um, um, and, and so in order to fight these addictions for me the the best way has been to just uh, go to the source and the source is um, healing those parts that are wounded and, and, and for example addictions is often just trying to get satisfaction from something to just trying to find happiness eh? An addiction is a, a very good solution to forget about the past or uh, or to f just for a moment be really relaxed and not have to worry about things or think about things and that's why drugs are so great. But of course, or, or, or alcohol too, it lightens the spirit, it lightens the mind, but of course it becomes problematic when you constantly want that feeling because and then it becomes uh, abusing uh, something um, it becomes an addiction and, and that has nothing to do with, 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 with the particular drugs or the alcohol it has uh, everything to do with or same is true for gambling eh? uh, gambling can be fun uh, but if it's an addiction then it will destroy you and that's with everything um, so 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 uh, so yeah, you can try to fight the addiction and you have to fight the addiction, but the way to do that is to talk with the part that wants to. That's how I did it. I want to smoke a lot of marijuana at the time. And so I would close my eyes and talk with this part and ask, okay, so you want to smoke again? Eh? Okay, why do you want to smoke? Eh? Uh, and then uh, when the part is really like not open for negotiation, still try to make an exchange, negotiation. Like, okay, we're, okay, the, we're gonna smoke a joint, but uh, is it okay for you eh, if we do only one, or if uh, we do, do it once only tonight and then not for a week? Eh? Like, try to just negotiate instead of letting the part take you over, which would happen for me. I would push it away, eh, and then after a while I couldn't push it away anymore and it would take me over and then I would smoke a lot again and so um, that's how it has gone for me so um, and yeah in investing it's the same um, the, the most yeah the, I recently made a, a big mistake again to sell something on a low um, this yeah I wasn't doing the parts work I wasn't interacting uh, I had a lot of um, yeah, I should have done that more consciously. Um, um, but that's what happens when when you with investing. If you are not in control of your parts, the greedy part will take over when prices are sky high, and you will want to buy more or keep or hold on to it instead of being wise and selling. 
uh, and and so it's important to negotiate with that part and the same when you have a, a strong bear market or price have gone down low, your fear will say to sell even though we just went down low already uh, so 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 uh, so yeah the way to fight that is to um not let that part take over but to negotiate with that part eh? and um that's um that's how you get better results so yeah, internal internal family systems. Look it up. You have uh, therapists uh, all around the world. You can do Skype uh, therapy. Uh, I did that and it was really good. Uh, and um, uh, I think it's very important to find people that you feel good about. Uh, that's certainly true for your therapist. It's really not... Um, yeah, just following your feelings. I've been out of touch with my feelings for a very long time. That's what children learn to do. When they are hurt a lot, they just don't listen to, they, 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 they don't have the luxury to be able to listen to their feelings because they are locked with the people they are born into and locked in the environment. They, it's really, for me at least, it was prison. I didn't have freedom to choose where I wanted to be or who uh, uh, who would surround me. So, 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 uh, so I was out of touch with my, with my feelings and that would lead me to make very poor decisions uh, on all fronts eh? in relationships, uh, in, in work. Um, so I, I try to really do that much more these days to listen to my feelings when I want to make a certain investment or have a, a relationship or, or, or friends. I, I, I listen to... Uh, I check with my feelings how I feel with this person or how I feel with this investment and only if I feel good I proceed and otherwise not. Um, um, yeah. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed this short video uh, and uh, look how beautiful it is here. Bye.